Hey guys, in a previous lesson, we learned how to multiply decimals by a whole number. Now, we're going to learn how to multiply decimals by 10, 100 or 1000 the easy way. I've seen students do it the long way and it takes forever and you're bound to make mistakes. This way, very easy, very straightforward. As I've always taught you, I always show you the easy way. Let's do it. We have an example, 5.29 times 10. 5.29 times 10, what we've got to do is we look at where the decimal point is. And we're multiplying by 10. We ask ourselves, how many zeros does 10 have? We look, 10 has, of course, one zero. So, we grab the decimal point, and we're going to move the decimal point once to the right. Why once? Because 10 has only one zero. So let's see how it's done. So the decimal point here, we want to move it to the right. When we multiply by 10, 100 or 1000, we move to the right. Let's see how it's done. 5.29 times 10. 10 has one zero, so we move once to the right. So we carry the point and we move it once to the right. Our answer will be 52.9. See how we move the point once to the right because we're timesing by 10. 10 has one zero, so we move once to the right. Let's see another example. 0 0.36 times 10. 10 has one zero, so we've got to move once. Which way? To the right. So, 0 0.36 times 10, which means we're going to move the point. We're going to grab it and say, you don't belong over here, you belong over here. So, all of a sudden, we have 3.9. Six. Put it there, it's going to be between, between the 3 and the 6. 3.6 times 10, 1, 0. We move it once to the right. 3.6. 0 0.34 times 100. Now with 10, we multiplied by 10, so we got we had one zero, so we moved once to the right. In this case here, we're multiplying by a hundred. A hundred has two zeros, so we're moving twice to the right. So we grab the point and we say, you don't belong over here. We're going to move you twice to the right. One, two. So our answer will be 34 .0. Move it once, move it twice, all of a sudden it's going to be after the 4, 34.0 or just 34. Both answers are correct. As you can see, we moved it twice because we're multiplying by 100. 100 has two zeros. Let's see if you can do this one. 2.7 times 100. Again, the 100 has two zeros. Very important to realize that. Two zeros, we are jumping to the right twice. So we're grabbing it and saying you need to move twice to the right. Once, twice. Now we've jumped over the seven and we've jumped over nothing. So nothing means we are going to jump over zero. So we have two, we jump over the seven, and we jump over nothing, which means zero. Then we put our point where it should be. 2.7 times 100, move it once, move it twice. Jumping over the 7, and then jumping over the 0, and there it is. 3.8 times 1,000. So now we have how many zeros? Three zeros, which means how many jumps? Three jumps. Okay, our point, we need to locate it, there it is. So 3.8 times 1,000, we're moving the point three times to the right. One jump, two jumps, three jumps. 
which means we have the 3, we're jumping over the 8, we're jumping over the 0, nothing means 0 there, and jumping over nothing as well, 0, we put our point 3,800. So jump, jump, and one more jump because there are three zeros, meaning three jumps. We're moving it. It was between the three and the eight. Once, twice, three times. There it is. Our answer is 3,800. Last one, 15.34 times 1,000. 1,000 1, has three zeros. Very easy. We grab our point and we say, you don't belong over here. We're going to move you three times to the right. One jump, two jumps, and three jumps. So it becomes 15, one, five. We move that over, over the four, and over nothing means zero. And we put our point 15,340. One, two, three jumps. Initially, it was here and between the 5 and the 3, and we moved it once, twice, three times, 15,340. So always remember, we count how many zeros are there, whether it's a 10, we jump once, a 100, we jump twice, a 1,000, we jump three times, 10,000, what do you think, how many jumps? Four jumps, we're jumping over four numbers, as you can see, and we put our point to clarify 15,300 and 40. Very easy. Always get used to the easy way. We're jumping and it's always good to show the arrows. That way you're showing you're working out. You won't make a mistake. And even if you did make a mistake here, you will go back and check and you'll fix your mistake once again and you'll get it correct as always. Easy, straight to the point, follow the steps and you'll never make a mistake.